The Little Mermaid cocktail is so quirky and fun to make and it retains a sense of elegance, don't you think? Not to mention, it's super easy. It's basically just a blue frozen margarita. So easy, in fact, I'm going to show you how to make it in less than two minutes. So the first thing you want to do is grab yourself a blender. Fill that with one whole cup of ice and then we're going to go in with a double shot of Blanco tequila followed by a single shot of blue curacao. Then we're going to go in with 30 milliliters of lime juice and top that up with a pinch of flaked sea salt. Emphasis on sea salt. We want this to taste oceanic, to look oceanic and to feel like the little mermaid would have it herself. Then we're going to blend it and let me just pause the video right here. Just so I can mention blenders, you want a good blender, a blender that's going to be able to blend the ice. The last thing you want is big chunks of ice. Now, if you've already got a blender, make do with what you've got. But if you're looking to buy one, check out the links in the description. Unless you're on the article, in which case scroll up or down. All my recommendations are everywhere for good blenders to use. Let's resume. So you want to blend the whole thing until it's super smooth and you should have this lovely blue colour thanks to the blue curacao. What does that look like? What does it remind you of? The ocean. Of course it does. It's a little mermaid cocktail. And I'm just going to pause the video yet again. Apologies for the constant pausing, but I really would speak about what's going on here. You see, all the ice was kind of frozen to the inside and it won't come out the glass. So I kept banging it on the top and then something amazing happens. Let me resume and you can check this out. So I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it, it all falls out but it lands directly in the glass. No spillage whatsoever. You see? Okay, maybe not that amazing but it was amazing to me. Next you want to top it up right to the top so it looks like a big wave coming out and I do apologise but I'm going to pause the video one more time because we need to speak about this garnish and what I'm doing here. What we have going on there is an empty cleaned mussel shell. Emphasis on cleaned. I washed it, boiled it, sanitized it. I washed it again, washed it one more time and boiled it again. Make sure it was super clean. You could also use a seashell as well if you want. What we're trying to achieve is that oceanic look. And now I'm filling that with little flavored caviar, little edible pearls, or what they actually are is fruit flavored boba pills. You know those little pills that go in the tea and then they pop in your mouth? That's what we have here. I'm using mango ones, but you can use whatever you want. Once again, links to everything, including that little iridescent glass I've got, are in the description, they're on their article, they're all over the place, so do check that out. And that right there, that is the Little Mermaid Margarita. Something that I do hope Ariel would enjoy herself. But at the very least, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Until the next video and until the next recipe, goodbye.